Okay, so I already recorded everything that we did today, which was me, Peter, Frankie, and the other mic, and ripped out a grossly oversized steam boiler, like insanely oversized, and replaced it with a 100,000 BTU steam max. I gave the customer a quote, uh, I think it was in November 2022, so about two months later, we did it. <clears throat> I didn't record that much, uh, partially because I feel like garbage. I think Peter got me sick. And I also didn't want to slow us down or get in Mike's way because I know other Mike doesn't like to be recorded that much. And he's uh, the most experienced one, so we needed him. Uh, and I did a Bosch Singular service call. A bunch of people have been out there. Nobody could fix it. Uh, I think we fixed the issue. If not, uh, we'll see what happens, but hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so here we have a six section steam boiler, 175,000 BTUs. And as you can see, totally rusted out. I gave this customer an estimate last year, at the end of last year, and today we are swapping the boiler out. Uh, it has a hole in it because it's leaking water and constantly refilling. Um, it's losing steam somewhere and that's what's causing it, and once we get the new boiler in we can figure out where it's leaking from. But here's our wet return, and it comes up right into the T for the equalizer, which is smaller than the 2-inch piping for the header, so we'll make that 2-inch. And two mains leaving the boiler. So we'll get started tearing it apart and getting the new one in place. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. All no, 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 you're no good. You're no, good. No, 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 you're no good. You can let go. Yeah, one of you is good. I got it. You can let go. All right. Watch the top. Hold it. It's okay. It is 920 and the boiler is in place. Working on the piping and everything now. It is a 100,000 BTU steam max. And we're going to do a drop header into these two main lines and put the gas in. The electric will line up nicely and we'll put a switch there. Okay, so here's where we're at with the piping so far. This is our equalizer line coming into this steam uh, inch and a quarter by two inch T and then this three quarter heel T. The inch and a quarter is gonna pick up our wet return. And we're working now on coming from here, part of the drop header into this line. And steam will come out and it goes in that direction and comes back through the equalizer. And the flue isn't gonna line up perfectly, but that's what we had to do to get it in place. Okay, it is 10.32, I'm working on the wiring, Peter's filling the boiler, uh, put the auto feed in, I have to wire that auto feed in, vent dampers in, Mike's finishing up with the smoke pipe, and our drop header is in, and we should be good. Okay, 10.57, Monday, same day. Boiler is running right now, and I just tested the water cutoff, and that was good. Uh, just waiting for it to make steam, and do a combustion analysis, and finish cleaning up. Okay, so I'm at a Bosch unit right now. Uh, you can see this relief valve here dripping, 30 psi relief valve, 150 psi expansion tank. Uh, 
no service uh, valves for flushing either the domestic or the heating water. They have shutoffs, but no access in to clean it. Um, the unit's supposedly going off in an A3 error. I have yet to see it happen, but apparently multiple people have been out here for this. It was installed recently, and for some reason the installing contractor said that they can't fix it. Okay, so I just pulled off the cover on the heat exchanger, and you can see that the heat exchanger is corroded around the igniter and the flame sensor with, uh, looks like mild burn marks. And, uh, we got some peeling on our, uh, protectors on our, uh, wiring, but this unit's supposedly only been in for six months. Looks like it's been here for, like, a year. 2021, but uh, I'm not sure what's going on with it. I'm not having any issues with it right now, but we'll see what Bosch Technical Support has to say. Supposedly, it's an A3 error, which is an issue with the pump, but this has already been replaced by the previous people that were here. Supposedly, he's had multiple people in here, and the installing contractor could not fix the issue. He just left them hanging. So... Aside from the heat exchanger looking like this, everything else looks pretty good. There's our brace plate heat exchanger in the back. Uh, our circuit, uh, yeah, our circular right there. Our controls on the side. Heat exchanger, inducer, gas valve. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they bent the gas valve when they put this in. It's not a uh, straight which I guess it is what it is, but you can see the gas lines in there crooked. Screws like half put in. And I haven't even seen the venting outside. Sure, it's not great. There's our uh, manual reset. My limit, because we're in the city. Uh, backflow preventer, pressure reducing valve, wrong expansion tank. Air separator, which this isn't correct, correctly installed. It needs a specific amount of a straight run for it to work properly. Our uh, circulator and our zone valves. They have power. They have a zone uh, relay. But uh, overall, it's not not a nice install. I would say, in my opinion. There is also no condensate neutralizer, and it's not even piped into a drain, which that's great, too. But, uh, A3 is abnormal pump operation. Could be E3, having a very hard time understanding, which would be return temperature sensor, but not sure. So the flame seems to be cutting in and out. One of the things I'm doing now is I'm having Peter clean the flame sensor. Um, also, I want to check... This heat exchanger looks exactly like Navian's. If these screws are tight. That was pretty good. That was a good turn that I got there. And got a turn, but not crazy. But, uh, these gaskets need to be replaced. If I had them, I would do it now, but I don't have them. Uh, I was hesitant to pull it off, but it was already disintegrated, so it's not like I could do much more damage to the gasket. Pretty much isn't existent at this point. The igniters looked okay, not terribly dirty, but something's obviously going on with this for it to be cutting in and out, and this customer to be intermittently getting errors, not having heat and hot water. I just have never run into this issue on a singular unit. So waiting for Bosch to get on the phone. I'm gonna check amperage on our pump too, just to see what that is. Our pump wires are right here, black and white. It is set to high speed and it gives you an amperage of 1.2. So as long as I'm around that, hopefully less than that. <laughs> but see how cleaning the flame sensor, if that helps at all.
and thankfully we were actually able to get this A3 error. Now the amp draw on the circulator wasn't bad, so why this would be going into error is very odd. Uh, maybe clogged lines on the uh, supplier return, but then it would be an abnormal temperature. It wouldn't be pump. It's reading something's wrong with the pump. Which is very odd. Uh, huh. <clears throat> All the connections look good too. The connection into the pump, out of the pump, into the board. It's very weird. So I just waited for 45 minutes for somebody to pick up and tell me that they transferred me to the wrong department. Uh, so I'm supposed to be number one in line waiting for the guy to pick up. One thing that I did notice is that the control is sending 120 volts of power to the pump through the white leg, not through the black leg. I don't know if that matters, if that's how it's supposed to operate, but that's the first thing I'm going to bring up to the technician once I get a hold of him. So far, we're not heating any water. I mean, right now, it just won't heat anything. At least it was heating a little bit before, but now it turns on, ignites, turns off. Yeah, no water's at 77 degrees, so see what happens. So we replaced the expansion tank because that's an immediate pressure issue and could be affecting the pump. But you, this unit is squealing so badly from the inducer assembly. Like screaming. So you want to grab the combustion analyzer? We'll see what the combustion analysis looks like. I mean it is screeching screeching loud. So after speaking with a representative of Bosch directly and not with their technical support, uh, he said straighten out the pressure, pressure in the system before anything else, because that could be it. So we removed that domestic water expansion tank, put in an extra number 15, extra number 30, is it a 30? Yeah, it is a 30. And as soon as we did that, the system started to operate perfectly and normally, except for that loud noise when it's in high fire. So I'm gonna bring that to the attention of the Bosch representative, but for now they have heat and we can address the noise at a later date. So hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I know I didn't really record that much. Uh, as far as the noise on the Bosch, we'll see what happens. I was told it could be just because of how cold the return temperature was with it heating and the heat exchanger. And it might not be a frequent occurrence, but we'll see. Um, I, I really think it was such a poor install, and I really dislike the product to begin with. Uh, it's exactly like the Navians, but... Steam boiler came out easily. It was fairly new, which was a shame. Uh, it developed a hole from filling so often, uh, from losing steam somewhere. Uh, and there were a few weak points that we had cut out uh, with the steam piping, the near boiler piping, that I think was the main issue, because one of them was the wet return, which that's going to have the most water in it, but uh, hopefully it lasts. The customer is very happy. It's a lot smaller. So hopefully she'll save on gas, and uh, we got it in and out quick. It was easy, and the drop header looked nice, but... I think today was a good day. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, like the video, comment any advice or criticisms.